Okay, the next piece we're going to talk about is the internal post support. And it's very basic and very easy to do, but it will require some glue and it will require some clamps. Now in your kit, you're going to have eight of part number five and eight of part number six. Now you'll notice that these have a notched end and that they have a flat end. I find it easier to put the notched end away from you with the number side facing towards the surface you're working from and do a number five, then followed next to it by a number six, another number five, and then another number six. And again, notice we've got all the notches on this end. We've got four in the kit of part number four, and you only need one of these per post. So you need two number five and two number six per post. The thing that you're noticing here is not in your kit uh, is a piece of quarter inch square dowel rod. And the reason it's not in your kit is because it is so dirt cheap and easy to find at any hobby store or Home Depot or Lowe's or Michael's or uh, Menards or um, B&Q if you're in the UK. There's, you can find this anywhere. Uh, so I don't include it in the kit, but it's really, really easy to get. Um, so what I like to do is I like to lay everything flat and I like to come through here and run my glue up and down in here and get a nice bead of glue on everything and then come back with a silicone brush and make it nice and even all over the pieces. I like to make sure every part of this is covered. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your dowel rod and if, once you pick your dowel rod all you need to do is measure off 16 inches and cut. This is exactly 16 inches long. Um, you can make it a little longer if you want to but 16 inches gives you a little bit of playroom and I'll show you that here in a minute. But once you do that you have your glue down you're just going to stick the dowel rod center it on one of the pieces and then you're just going to fold the sides up and with glue on here it's going to be super super easy because everything is already going to be sticking together um, it's kind of going to fall apart for me here so I'm going to try and hold it together but um, essentially you're going to wind up with this you got your dowel rod sticking out the bottom and you've got uh, your post supports all nice and married together now all you need to do is take put piece number four and then pop it in the end here there's two notches on one side and one on the other, so you won't, can't get confused. It doesn't matter what orientation as long as you have the tabs right. So now, you've got it glued, you got your dowel rod in there. All you need to do at this point is clamp it up. Now, for clamping, I like to use these, uh, these clamps like this, because you'll see that as they close, they make a square. So, whenever I come over here and I take and I clamp this, it's going to be nice and square. It's going to hold everything kind of true for me. So a lot of the work is done. So place one side on a flat work surface and then clamp this to it and it will make your life a lot easier. Now you can also use those, those springy clamps for this. All you need is, a, is something to keep pressure on each side, downward pressure to make sure the posts come out nice and square. If you can see that, it's, it's really, really nice. And you've still got you know, the, your bottom of your post sticking out. Now, the only thing you need to be careful of is glue coming out of the bottom here. You don't want glue down here because this piece needs to sit flush with the base. So when you've got your base all assembled, and we put that aside, and you've got your little square holes here, you'll notice that all you have to do is just take the post and slide it in. It's in there. It's straight. It's exactly in the place that it needs to be. It's sitting flush with the bottom. And at 16 inches, just a little bit sticks out of the bottom. So you can come back through here with some sandpaper and flatten that out. Um, so, like I said, it holds it in the right orientation. It holds it straight. If you don't want to glue them, you really don't have to because these pieces will sit in there pretty flush. So this is what a finished post looks like with uh, the internal and with the, you know, the outside pieces. I've sanded it a little bit to get rid of any excess uh, glue. But you don't need to go crazy. You don't need to fill this in because there's going to be pieces of uh, 1 16th wood included in your kit that we'll talk about in the next video that will go on here and skin this piece. Um, it gives it that extra thickness that's needed to make it the exact uh, size that it needs to be to be 1 6th. So if that's it for the internal post support. The next video we're going to cover um, skinning the posts and uh, I'll see you then.